who would have ever thought that maybe adding some chia seeds or adding some flax to your protein shake may actually play a role with your immune system. It's pretty wild. Now I'm very careful when I talk about immune system content on this channel, because I'm not an immunologist. I'm a guy that lost hundred pounds and really just got into the biochemistry and the research. But sometimes I come across research and biochemistry that just fascinates me. And I learned this new stuff about IgA, immunoglobulin A, that is in our gut and how it interacts with fiber and short chain fatty acids, which how it has to do with the immune system. So very fascinating stuff. So I'm not gonna say that eating any specific kind of fiber is gonna do any specific X, Y, Z to your immune system, but I am gonna highlight the research for you so that you can take a look for yourself because it's pretty fascinating. The sponsor of this video is a company called Haya. Okay, look, I've got two small kids. I've got a four-year-old and I've got a one and a half-year-old. And getting them proper nutrition yeah, I mean, I'm a nutrition guy, so it doesn't you know, come that difficult to me, but I'm realizing as my kids get older, they get pickier. So Haya is a kid's multivitamin that is a tasty, chewable form. Okay, it's sweetened with monk fruit. Okay, so most like kid's multivitamins are gummies and they have a few grams of sugar, if not even more, and it ends up being just kind of a nightmare. Okay, so Haya, in my opinion, is like the first of its kind. You got 12 different kinds of fruits and veggies. It's pediatrician approved, but I think the biggest piece I like about it and why they jive with me and why they're a sponsor on this channel is because they're created by dads that have the same frustrations that I have. It's difficult to give your kids a multivitamin because none of the stuff out there is good. It's just, it's really difficult. So anyway, there is a special link and get this, 50% off. 50% off Haya if you wanna try them down below. Now, honestly, I take it too because it tastes good and there's no sugar in it, it's awesome. So anyway, that link down below will save you 50%, five zero, off of Haya Kiddo's multivitamin. So check them out after this video and a thank you to them for the support. Okay, so when we consume something, I'm just gonna pick on flax because I like flax, but consume something like flax or chia. It is a soluble fiber. So what happens is this soluble fiber comes in and the microbiome breaks it down, right? It breaks down the soluble fiber and it turns it into these amazing things called short chain fatty acids. Short chain fatty acids are awesome because they're signaling devices. They help with our metabolism. They help with carbohydrate utilization at the cellular level. They help with fatty acid uh, utilization at the cellular level. Really fascinating things. But what does that have to do with the immune system? Well, get this, okay, and hear me out on this entire thing because it's so wild. We have what is called immunoglobulin A, okay? It's an antibody, okay, IgA that's in our gut, okay? This antibody lives inside our gut microbiome and it lives in, just inside of our gut in general. What it does is fascinating. So this IgA goes around to the different bacteria in our gut, okay, and it tags bacteria. So it binds to the bacteria, binds to the surface of the bacteria, okay, but it only binds to bacteria that it deems necessary or good. Okay, bad bacteria, bad, that it doesn't like, it doesn't bind to. Once the IgA binds to a bacteria, then that bacteria can bind to the epithelial cell. So these bacteria that have been tagged, it's called tagged, by our own antibodies, antibody A or immunoglobulin A, they then can easier, easily bind to the epithelial cell. What does that mean? That means that those bacteria become essentially very active. The other bacteria that they didn't get tagged, they leave. So immunoglobulin A dictates in a lot of ways what bacteria stay and what bacteria go. That is already so fascinating that our own immune system is dictating that. It's playing like it is the master of our microbiome. But what's even more fascinating is if our immunoglobulin A levels are where they're supposed to be, immunoglobulin A can sequester, can take some bacteria and put them into what they call a refuge. It's called a refuge in this case, and protect those bacteria from getting broken down. It keeps them alive. It helps certain bacteria survive. So it essentially is taking bacteria and putting it in an area where it can protect it if these bacteria seem like bacteria that should survive but may not. So that already is interesting. So where is fiber coming into this? Like, come on, dude, you're talking about this weird stuff. Where is it? Okay, well, one more thing. There were some studies that demonstrated that people that had less levels of IgA ended up having less microbiome diversity. Whoa, so less IgA equals less microbiome diversity. Is it less IgA that came first or less microbiome diversity that came first? Okay, 
Well, we don't really know, but how do short chain fatty acids contribute? Two ways. Okay, so if we're eating a lot of fiber, mainly soluble fiber, flax, chia, things like that, we are having more short chain fatty acids. How is this helping our immune system in our gut? Two ways. One, it increases the energy that we need in the gut for antibody secretion. So if we're not secreting immunoglobulin A, then we can't protect our gut bacteria. But if we're secreting immunoglobulin A, then we can. Okay, so if we have short chain fatty acids from consuming fibers, it provides energy. The short chain fatty acids are literal fuel for the IgA to be secreted. That's a huge one. The second one is through something very complicated that I'm gonna condense called histone deacetylase inhibition. What histone deacetylase inhibition does is it unlocks the genes within our gut that, get this, allows different immunoglobulin. It allows something called class switching, which means that things that normally secrete IgM or IgD or IgE, different antibodies, now have a unique ability to secrete IgA as well. So instead of just IgA secretors secreting IgA, we now have multiple immunoglobulin secretors, I'm just calling them that, secreting more IgA. It's called class switching. That means that we get more IgA. So the more short chain fatty acids that we have from eating fiber, the more histone deacetylase inhibition that we potentially have, which leads to potentially more IgA, which means this whole system is working better, okay? That's gonna help with gut barrier integrity, all these things. So I'm not talking about getting the sniffles and fixing that, I'm talking about the root of a lot of different things. And I think there's a lot of people out there that are saying, yeah, I think fiber is pretty important at this day and age. Whether you are vegan, keto, paleo, doesn't matter. I feel like fiber is a big piece of things and I'm gonna stand behind that. But as always, again, I'm not a doctor, I'm just some guy. I'll see you tomorrow.